Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Jamie and today I'm gonna do a new makeup review. It's pretty much par for the course over here. Seems like I'm always buying makeup. I'm definitely an addict. But today I wanted to talk with you about this new NARS palette. So I believe this is an Ulta exclusive and it was just released, I think last week. And this is the Basic Instincts Cheek Quad and I have the quad one. So it looks like this, super gorgeous. I want to give you guys a quick review about it, do a try on and tell you some dupes that I found in my collection and just let you guys know what might be available on the market for a little bit less of a price tag. But let's talk about formula and let's go through the review first. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you consider hitting that subscribe button right down below. It's free and it would really be helpful to support my channel. Thank you so much for that, but let's get on into it. So this is an awesome palette. <laughs> let's just start off by saying that. I was so excited when I saw the Orgasm X shade in here. So I, there's not that many quads or any palettes that they sell that have that Orgasm X. I think I've seen it in one face quad that also had like a highlighter and regular Orgasm in it. And it just really wasn't for me. Um, I've debated on it several times and thought about it, but I'm like, nah, not so much. So when I saw that this was being released on Trend Mood, I was so excited because I have an Ulta rewards card. So I have an Ulta credit card. I use it all the time and I build up all these rewards points so I can get free makeup and skincare, whatever is that Ulta, mainly makeup for me. So I love to be able to grab things with my points. So anyway, I had points saved up. So I decided to pick this up as soon as it was released. So it's four shades for like regular staple, well-known, um, NARS blush shades and you know NARS is very well known for their cheek products. They actually have great makeup all around but I love their cheek quads or face palettes in general. I have a lot of different NARS face palettes. They're definitely something worth the investment I find. So I always thought that this Orgasm X shade was pretty unique to you know the palettes and I don't have this in anything else. So I've always wanted it and I figured this was a good opportunity to pick it up. Comes with these four different shades. I believe this is an Ulta exclusive and it's also, I think, available on their website. I don't know, I didn't look at their website, but $39 and it says it's a $100 value. So let's look at the swatches. So I swatched them all right here for you and a lot of these might seem pretty familiar um, if you're familiar with the blushes um, from NARS. Obviously, Orgasm is in there. It's this first one. You know, Orgasm is like a peachy pink with a gold shift to it. So this is Orgasm X, which is just like, kind of like Orgasm, but like punched up a bunch with pigment, but not so much with the sparkle. So it's just like a peachy pink, very vibrant with a slight gold shimmer. And then this, these last two, this one is called Behave, and I don't know too much about this shade. This was new to me. Um, I had never heard of it, but you can see it's just like a really soft, um, cool toned. I would say this is just like a nice, soft, cool toned um, mauve, I would say. It's definitely very neutral, very, you know, neutral cool and extremely soft. It probably would only show up on light complexions. And I don't know, I haven't tried this one yet, but it could definitely be like a sleeper shade. You know those shades where you like, they don't look like much in the pan, but then you put them on and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. That definitely could be one of these shades. I have a feeling, you know, NARS blushes don't disappoint, but this one is just a matte shade. Doesn't have, you know, any reflect in it. And then this is Dolce Vita. It does have a little bit of reflect in it and it's a nice, like cool toned, um, mauve shade as well. A little bit deeper. This one's definitely lighter, but it's kind of similar. It has more of a shift to it though. And it is definitely a deeper color. So little leaning purple, but definitely has um, some dark pink in there. So I thought this was cool. I tried it on. I have a try on. I'm going to insert in just a minute. But um, before I get into that, 
I have it on my cheeks right now. You can see, I definitely have been wearing this for about four or five hours. I did my try on, recorded that, and then I went about my work day. Had a bunch of calls and different things going on. So this has been a couple hours of wear and it still looks really good. I think it's definitely keeping its pigment. It, um, it did settle down a little bit from when I first put it on, but this is um, mainly Orgasm X, but you'll see on the try-on, I actually try Dolce Vita on one cheek, Orgasm X on the other, and then I kind of mix them together afterwards, but so pretty. It's just a really pretty palette, and they have great packaging. I like this one because it's kind of more compact than the six pans, but um, I still feel like I'm getting a good value out of it, and I'm never gonna go through a full blush. I mean, come on. Who goes through a full blush? I don't know. So I think this is just perfect. So let's look at some dupes. This is the exciting part. So I have three dupes that I wanted to go through really quick just because I have a big a storage of makeup, a lot of makeup. So I think a lot of people on watching YouTube channels might also have that. So I have some older makeup that I think is pretty aligned. And what I'm looking for is Orgasm X, but I'm looking, most of these shades I have is like a cross between the four shades really. So I'll talk to you about them as I swatch them. But some of these are older. You can definitely get them um, through Poshmark or retail, you know, um, resale sites, if you look them up, I know that I saw these were all still available, sometimes even at TJ Maxx. I think I got all three, no, two of these at TJ Maxx. But first let's go through this one. This is um, the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush in Pink Sky. So this one has also the iridescence. So what I'm looking for here is like something similar to this. So I'm gonna swatch all around it. So this is Pink Sky. So the thing with this one is it is just more pink than peach. So kind of gives the same vibe a little bit, but it's just more pink than peach. So if you have that one, that's kind of a close contestant, I would say for a dupe or something similar. Um, this next one is I don't know if they're still sold anymore. This was a Becca blush in Snapdragon. This is something that I definitely thought looked really similar to it. And you know, I'd been wanting Orgasm X and I was looking for like dupes and nobody really had any that they were advertising. So I just had to go for it. But had I known like Snapdragon is really close um, to Orgasm X. So if you do have the shade by any chance. I don't think that you need to pick up Orgasm X. It still has the same like shininess to it and it's definitely extremely, extremely similar. So that I would say is pretty much a dupe. And, but it's not cheap though. This one's like not cheap. The Bounce and Blur one's not that reasonable. I have some reasonable ones coming up here in a minute. So we're gonna get to those. But then the other one I thought that was really similar was this Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. The blush in here was really similar too. This one's kind of old, but maybe you still have it hanging around in your collection. This one right here is really similar. So I'll swatch that one. What do I have on my... So that is that one. Hopefully you can see also extremely similar and it has that shift to it too. It's weird because this does look a lot like Snapdragon, but they didn't say it was Snapdragon. What does she call this one? They call Hibiscus Bloom. In the palette, they call it that. So I don't know why. It looks a lot like the other Becca shade that they had, but just wanna let you know if you do have that palette laying around, that is a quick dupe. Now the other ones are kind of mixes. These are more reasonable. They're available right now. And, but they're kind of a mix, so let me show you. What I'm gonna do is, since I began swatching things on this other arm, I'm gonna take Orgasm X, put it right there. That's the, that's the original that we're going to match here. And then we're gonna have to be a little bit of scientists here with some experiments. So number one, this was on Ulta. I don't know why it disappeared. I bought this from Ulta. This is the Catrice Cheek Lover Oil Infused Blush. It's new, it was at Ulta. I paid $6 for this um, right when it first launched and I don't know why it's taken 
it's come off now, but so they have this one. Now this one is very shimmery, I would say, is the bad part about this one, and it's not as bright. Let me see if you could build it up. It's more, it's closer to orgasm, regular orgasm, I would say, than orgasm X. So that's regular orgasm there down on the bottom. See, I think it's closer to that one, but it's $6 and that's a pretty good, you know, kind of match towards the palette. It's not exact dupe for Orgasm X, but let's keep going. So then another thing, I have this Milani face palette. This is $14.99. I'm pretty sure they still sell this. Now it has all these shades in it. Now this one, if you could mix this blush and this blush together, it looks a lot like this Orgasm X color. So we're going to go for it. Mix this. A little bit of a science experiment here. Mixing, mixing. It's easier to mix with a brush, you know? So I'm saying like this one is gets kind of close to that. You can kind of mix it together until you find the perfect match, but you can get close kind of playing with those shades. Then the last one I have is this Bellini palette. So this is like $18 from BH Cosmetics on Ulta site. And you get all these beautiful like peachy pink shades in here. And you just kind of have to play around. So this one's definitely pink, you know, like Orgasm X. So let's try that one. I do find that like I can take some of the pinky peach though and mix it together. And I feel like I get an even better match, but let's see. All right, so that one is the pink one from that palette. Now it doesn't have as much shine in it, but it's the most pink one. And I think that is really close. I mean, like I said, it doesn't have the reflect in it. So like maybe you just want to dust on top your um, highlighter or something to bring that color out. But I think that that's pretty close. And you get all these for $18. And this palette is really nice, seriously. I like this one a lot. Every time I wear it, I'm like, why don't I wear you more often? So I would recommend this one if you're looking for a new blush palette. But so you kind of, you know, you you can get what you pay for. You can get a little bit of extra value if you get one of these other products I was talking about. But this is thirty nine dollars. I think it's a pretty fair price for NARS. I do love that you can get all four of these shades. I mean, they're all beautiful. So just mix them together and throw them on your cheeks and you're done. So anyway, so I'm just gonna jump into the tutorial now and you'll see this palette in action. So let's apply the blush. So I have it right here. Beautiful, love it. So I'm actually using some of these new brushes that I got the other day. I ordered the BK Beauty brushes when they were on sale the other day. I think they were like 30% off and I got this whole set and now I'm just like using them all. I got the big ones and then it came with the little ones. I was like $150 with the sale or something, but I've been using them. I really like them. So let's look at the different colors that we have here. And um, I really purchased this palette because of this Orgasm X shade. I really wanted it. So I'm gonna apply that one to one cheek and then we'll apply one of the more muted colors to the other one. So you can see it's really pigmented. You just wanna be really gentle with it. So it's nice, wow. I guess doing that draping thing where you pull it up a little bit higher, blush draping. I'm actually gonna take that brush and just get a little bit of the product off and then use that same brush to blend it in. It blends in really nice. It blends out really nice, I should say. You can see it's lost some of that pigmentation. I've only worn this once or twice and I thought it lasted a pretty good while. Um, I felt like when I applied it last time it wasn't as pigmented when I first put it on but I just maybe got heavy handed today. So this is the Orgasm X shade on me. It doesn't look as um, pigmented as it does in the pan so it's not as scary. This is kind of bright but I really like the way that it looks when it's blended out. It just gives your face like, yeah, a nice bright look. It doesn't really look illuminated at all. It has glitter in it, but I don't really feel like I get any of that glitter. I'm gonna add a little bit more. 
Just looking at it. And there it is. I really like that one. So let's use one of the more tame colors on my other cheek. We will go with, let's go with Dolce Vita, which is this one right down here. And this one is like a really nice muted color. Get that on the brush and sweep it on. Since this is like the first time I'm using the Dolce Vita one, I feel like you have to use them a couple times before they give you a good amount of pigment. So when I was first struggling to dip in there, I don't think that was really necessarily the product's fault. I think it's just, it needs to be built up. So it's just a slight difference really. So this one has more peach in it and this one has more purple in it. I guess if you look head on, I don't even know if you can really tell the difference. I'm looking head on. I can barely tell the difference. They look really similar, but a little bit more cool tone here with Dolce Vita, a little bit more warm toned here with Orgasm X. Um, they both have supposedly like a little bit of shimmer in them. The Orgasm one is shimmer gold, but I, can, I can't really see the shimmer. Honestly, I feel like I'm that glowy all over my face. Um, I have the, um, Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation on, and that really seems to be extremely hydrating and is making me glowy. Um, but it looks really good, and they've been, you know, typical NARS blush wear. They're really great with their formula. They wear a really long time, so I really liked it. I mean, honestly, I don't really feel like, I said, you can tell a big difference. I guess you can, but not much. So anyway, this is like a typical NARS product. I love that it was $39 and that you got so much blush in there. These are shades that I will use every day. I really enjoy this product and I think this was a win for me. I'm very glad I picked it up. So I would recommend it if you're on the fence. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.